coin, so mysterious to so many people and so many misconceptions regarding the technology behind it and its capabilities. Is Bitcoin and our other cryptocurrencies anonymous? Are they fads? And what's the future of this technology? I hope you're enjoying this free course. If you're following along, make sure to also join our communities. It's a great way to learn and also be a part of other people who support your beliefs as well. So our main highlight is our bridge, which pretty much puts all three communities together under the same domain. So you're gonna have Telegram, Discord, and Matrix who all communicate with one another. You can join any of them and communicate with the other two. And we also have our Patreon community for those who want to support the channel a little bit more. Feel free to join anything you want and hope to see you there. Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency, or digital currency, like Donuts and Simpsons Tapped Out, Gold and Candy Crush Saga, or V-Bucks and Fortnite. There are two key differences, though. First, Bitcoin is intended to be used as a common-day currency used to purchase common items, replacing modern-day currencies. The second difference is blockchain technology, where every transaction is fully public and verifiable. This means you can view every transaction taking place on the Bitcoin blockchain. A blockchain is resistant to modification of any data, making them secure by design. They're also decentralized, meaning no one person controls the blockchain, giving power to users and allowing them to control and send their funds worldwide with no third parties. There are other benefits. The invention of the blockchain for Bitcoin made it the first digital currency to solve the double spending problem without the need of a trusted authority or central server. There are no banks or other third parties that control how you store and send money. You have full ownership? And it's a worldwide currency, which could rid the need for conversions and globalized currency. So that is Bitcoin. It wasn't created to be anonymous, it wasn't created for illegal activities, it wasn't created as a scam, and it wasn't created as an investment opportunity. Now you might be asking, why is it used for illegal activities if it's not anonymous? Let me answer that. First, Bitcoin is being replaced by Monero for illegal activities, and I'll expand on that in a sec. Two, Bitcoin is not anonymous, but there are ways to make it very difficult to track where it came from. For example, you can buy Bitcoin with cash in person using an ATM and send it to a new wallet, which isn't tied to any previous transactions, giving you pretty decent anonymity. I say decent because these ATMs typically have cameras built into them, the malls and stores with ATMs have cameras, and your drive to these stores will face many challenges like phone-based tracking, license plate monitoring, and other techniques, which we'll discuss in section five and six. A better method is buying Bitcoins locally with cash using a site like Local Bitcoins. I like to call it Crypto Craigslist. Three, another method of making Bitcoin relatively anonymous is by using a mixer, essentially a laundering service. The way these work is you send your Bitcoin into the service along with many other people and the service scrambles where the Bitcoin came from and its destination. Cryptocurrency laundering is illegal as long as you're not using it to hide illegal activities. You also have to remember the wallet you use to send the Bitcoin should have no information tied to you as well as a destination wallet. So it's a bummer Bitcoin isn't inherently anonymous. Luckily, there are other cryptocurrencies that promise near anonymity by default. Monero is the main one. Your wallet address, which is how you identify your wallet, is never used in the transaction. There are two ghost addresses used to avoid exposing the real addresses. Monero implements all of this by default, which is great since it eliminates the possibility of human error. Before going out and buying cryptocurrencies, remember to secure them. This space is very new, there are lots of scams out there, and people are losing their money left and right. Avoid leaving your coins on exchanges, transfer them to a wallet where you have control of the private keys. If you want the utmost security, you should go pick up something like a Ledger Nano or other hardware wallet, which is considered the most secure method of storing cryptocurrencies. To recap everything, cryptocurrencies can be used to help anonymize digital purchases. With Bitcoin, it's difficult and you'll have to jump some hoops because it's not inherently private. Other technologies like Monero offer more private ways of sending money, which are better than Bitcoin. Remember, as always, do not put full faith in the technology. Create these accounts and send transactions assuming they will be compromised. So even if they are compromised, your personal data still has another layer of protection. I hope that cleared up some cryptocurrency misconceptions. It is very cool to witness where this technology will go, and only time will tell if cryptocurrencies really will take off. The use case is definitely there, so let's see what happens. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson talking about auditing, the most fun thing.